Hi, hello everyone. I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and I'm here with Brooklyn today. Hi. Did you guys know that the new Seven Dwarfs Mine Train Ride is open in Disney World? And it looks like a ton of fun. I really want to go ride it. I, I love the coasters anyway. But this too. one looks really fun. It kind of reminds me a lot of the um, Big Thunder, Thunder Mountain. The one, yeah, that one. So in Disneyland. Like in a mountain. It's like a mine train thing. It looks really cool. I'm excited for it. I am too. So in honor of the ride opening, Disney's doing this big contest where there's seven challenges, one every single week for seven weeks. And there are seven winners, one every week for seven weeks. And then at the end, one of those seven winners wins a big giant trip to Disney World for four people for seven days. There's a lot of sevens in there. <laughs> it's gonna be fun though. Wow. Anyway, fun. so this week we got asked to lead off the challenge, which is the Sneezy Challenge. <laughs> so we are gonna show you some minor inspired <laughs> hairstyles. Because you know when they're not wearing their big mining hats, they're wearing cute like stocking caps. So we're gonna do some stocking cap hair and maybe even some beard hair. So when the miners aren't wearing their big mining hats, they're usually shown in the movie having stocking caps or what we call beanies on. So first we're gonna show you how Brooklyn wears a beanie and then I'm gonna show you how to pin a beanie on so it stays on. Yeah, so first you're gonna just take your beanie and then open it up I guess. And I just put the front of it on my forehead and then pull the rest of it back behind my head so I kind of look funky right now like this. And then I'm just gonna push it back so that you can see like a line of hair in front so you don't look bald when you wear your hat. And then I'm just gonna comb my hair down so it kind of frames my face. And, and just, just let the just, beanie kind of slouch And let the beanie the kind of just fall. So it just kind of falls naturally in the back. Now how I pin mine, people always ask me this, is I take my bobby pins and usually the beanies have kind of like a little weave to them. So I just try to find like a spot where there's a little bit of an opening and I just stick a bobby pin in. Make sure you catch your hair when you're pinning as well. And then I just try to make sure that I cross at least two bobbies so that they cross underneath on your hair. Make sure you don't catch that edge. That way you can't see the bobby pins outside of the hat. Yeah, so you can't see the bobby pins, maybe just a teeny tiny bit. And the same thing, I'll go underneath and find another spot down here too, because the other thing is beanies have a tendency to kind of pull up. Mm -hmm. So I'll just grab some hair with that bobby and stick it right in there, take another bobby pin, and just make sure that they cross when you're doing them. That the ends of the bobby pins cross, and that secures the beanie wherever you want to wear it. You could do two on this side too to just make sure that it's extra secure if you wanted to. And then I can wear it all day long and really it doesn't even move yeah. at all. For our second inspired look, we're doing kind of a bubble ponytail version with the hat on. So we're going to just sweep the hair. We split it into two sections, threw it both over shoulders. And then we're just going to gather the hair all up and using an elastic, wrap it around and let it lay softly. She's got curl in her hair, which is actually kind of fun because it kind of like makes it bubble even more, which looks really, really cute. But if you have straight hair, you can do it too. So you can do as many sections as your hair needs. I like three. And then when you're done, you just kind of go back and loosen them up a little bit. And it just softens the look and bubbles the hair just a tiny bit more. And it looks so cute under the stocking hat too. The beanie. So our next minor inspired hairstyle is gonna be a lace braid in front of the beanie. So for this one, we parted her hair just a little bit farther to one side instead of straight in the middle. And I'm going to take her hair and reach up and over the top and start a braid right here. And I'm gonna do a Dutch braid. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and just tug those edges a little bit, the elbows of the braids, and make it loosen up, pancake it. So to even lace, turn towards me please. A little bit flatter, more noticeable. A little tug, just so that it pops the braid up a little bit and you can see the really pretty fullness of the braid on the top of her head as well. And there you have that look. And for our last look, most of the miners of course have beards, so we thought we'd do a funny style and show you how to create a faux beard. Okay, you wanna go split your hair in half and pull both sides over your shoulders and then take one side and then the other and kinda of just comb them over underneath your chin and it kinda of just makes this beard. 
And then you want to rubber band it. Everyone's got a really long beard. I've got a long, fancy beard, if you can't tell. Let's rubber band it there. I think you could braid that, Brooklyn. Good. I think you could, you know, put in some twists. It's got a fancy beard. Let's do the final spin with that look right there. Ready? Yes, <laughs> that's great. My Yay! Hope you guys have enjoyed all of our minor inspired beanie styles, and I can't wait to see yours. Now, be sure to check out be the eighth minor.com for all the contest details. You can submit any of your pictures or videos via Twitter or Instagram, hashtag eighth minor contest. Yeah, and we'll have all that information in the description box below. Be creative! I'm super excited to see what you guys come up with for creative hairstyles or even beard Beards. styles. <laughs> if you happen to have a dad or something fun that has a really crazy beard, I would love to see it. We will see you guys next time. Bye guys, bye. Yo, yo, hi TD, yo. Oh, what? Yo, yo, hi TD, yo. Uh, what? Oh, I know. I want to be a hit on the V. Got to Got it. <laughs> Good luck in the contest. Bye.